All right, you guys. We have a new arrival and another challenger to all the sprayers that we've demoed. We got the Trident 5550. Come all the way over from Mooseman at Rocky Mountain Equipment. My good buddy Jason over there is going to take back his uh, 620 quad. Thank you, Jason. Thank you for the quad. Thank you for uh, letting us try this Trident. Now, unfortunately, we just finished our third app of chickpeas like today. So that's okay. We're just going to have to sit on the Trident for probably about 10 days. It'll be our next fourth fungicide app. So that's what we'll do. But you know what? We got a bunch, we got some work to do to it. We got to take those duels off of it, obviously, and uh, get it ready to go into chickpeas. And uh, we're all pretty excited to see how this one compares with the Rogator and especially the big 4060 deer. I feel like this is gonna, could be one of the main challengers to it. Those duels look pretty sweet. I'm gonna have to look up the weight on this sprayer because I couldn't find it on the tag. Normally it shows the tag in kgs, but it didn't show the weight. Because I feel like this is a pretty heavy sprayer like the 4060 is. The Rogator was pretty light compared to what we were working with, but this thing seems a little heavy. Now, this does have the 120 foot boom. You can get the 132 option. This is one of their uh, demo sprayers, I do believe. Those are 480, 80, R50 tires. All right, we're gonna have to do a quick walk around this thing. Well, let's go up here and check this thing out, shall we? Fuel and def, I see. Yeah, it's a 1400 gallon tank. There's Jared. Open this thing up. So this is the Magnum cab, not the Steiger cab that's on the Patriots. This is the Magnum cab. So we got a Pro 700. You know my feelings on a Pro 700. But you can get the Viper, it's an option. Basically, it's the exact same as the Patriot, except ours has the Viper. Cup holders. Oh, shoot, you guys. Cup holders. Shoot! <laughs> I don't have my right-hand cup holder. It's okay, Mike. You can get through this, buddy. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's get this thing a start up and... See what we think. Down here, same as the Patriot. Oh, he even filled it up pump full of fuel. Man, I like that guy. That's awesome. What's our hours on this thing? You guys see that? 80 hours. All right. All right. Let's try and drive this thing over here. Let's just go over to where Dad is over there. Get our park brake. Oh, what do we got here? Speed mode change after stop. Oh, we've got modes and options and all sorts of stuff. I'm liking this. All right, I see that we have wheels that we can put out. Let's go put these wheels out. We don't have to be going very fast. All right. Okay, I actually can't do this while I 
I can steer with my knee. Maybe my wheels don't go out. Maybe I should check this. I should check this. So uh, Rickles here is just loading in the cam handler of these. We got water in these two big tanks. And I thought I'd just do a quick little size comparison to the 4440s. Now we have skinnies on and nothing looks good with skinnies on. But And these ones are really dirty because they've been getting a lot of hours pumped on them. But And obviously the tires are bigger. You got 480, 80, 50s. You got 480, 80, 42s. Oh. Same width of tires. Just obviously a lot taller of tires. Same boom. Dirty boom. Clean boom. But I wouldn't go with one of these 120s again. Dirty frame. <laughs> yeah, it definitely sits a lot higher, eh? Definitely. Huh. Like this thing is really wide already and doesn't even have its tires out. Look at the size of this frame. the size of this frame. Like, ouch, oh, hit my head. There's definitely a lot of size difference here. To that. To that. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely a lot bigger square. It's big brother. Let's get going. Oh. All right. So this thing obviously has like a, it's got to air you up before you can fully drive. Oh, there goes the quad. It's going back home, you guys. It's going back home. Let's just take this thing down the road. It still hasn't aired us up fully yet. Anytime now. <laughs> Rickles just passed us. He's got places to go, things to do. So we're just ripping it down the road here. wide open and we only do 25 26 miles an hour so uh, that's not good <laughs> I don't like that haven't quite figured out how to get my wheels out yet typically it's this button right here must be something I'm missing I'm gonna have to look into this as you guys know I'm just kind of learning as well so yeah this is it this is top road speed not concerning at all. I really like the duels. I just want to sp spread those puppies out a little bit, you know? Otherwise, when we take the duels off, the tracks aren't going to line up with the other sprayers, and then we're not even going to be able to use it. So, I'm going to have to do a little research on that. Make sure there's no pins or bolts or anything in them. Well, guys, thanks for uh, joining me. Thanks for joining us on the... Us, me, myself, and I on the Trident first look, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, you guys get the idea. I just got parked here, just got back. I noticed it shows me 40 here now. That would be freaking awesome if it would take me 40 down the road. 25 loaded. 40 would be awesome. I feel like that's just too good to be true. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I guess she'll hit my park brake. Well, what do you guys think? Let's take a look at these wheels. 
see if I'm missing anything here. No, no. No. We have hydraulics on them. They will go out. I'm gonna, I must be derping. I derp hard all the time, you guys. Oh, there's a bolt here. That might actually hold the plastic liner on inside. Oh, no, that's probably what this is for. Interesting. I should dig into this a little bit deeper. I noticed that this is a lot bigger than the Patriot. Oh my goodness, I hope we have a train horn. <laughs> All right. All right, we're out of here. Let's rock this boat. So I've been playing around with this thing, and it will hit 40 mile an hour because I'm about to run over a Patriot. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, I better slow down here. I am going to run over a Patriot. We're just going to turn down this back road. Yeah, we're just still playing around. Just playing with the boobs and just uh, trying to uh, familiarize myself again with the Pro 700 monitor. It's been a few years. All right. Wow, that's a pretty freaking big pro already. I just knew I needed to spend a little more time in here playing around with this thing. So I'm guessing it's 25 loaded and 40 empty. That's awesome. You should notice you guys are like, Mike, you're 1,400 gallons. How's it doing 40 mile an hour? 14? Uh, I just, I'm empty. I just hit 1,400 gallons on the monitor. So I don't know how this thing knows. Maybe by weight. Anyway, I'm done now, guys. Well, I'm not done playing around, but I'm not going to waste your guys' time anymore while I keep tinkering and playing around, so I will catch you guys on the flip side. You ever notice how I'm always like, you know what, guys? Over and out. And after about seven more takes later, <laughs> I'm actually over and out. But this time, I think I'm over and out. Talk to you later.